not enough. I need more. Uh, I mean, this won't be a surprise. I heard the, it's a good card. And yeah, Jace will also be in this glorious... <laughs> And Witness the Future actually feels pretty bad together with uh, Invoke the Spurs. You can just keep playing those and we will play another one. Can we dig another one? What would... Oh my god. Hello everyone, it's Love here and today something I really think you will like because we, ca we are playing the Mirror Control with Mind Sprite apparatus and this card is absolutely really really fun. You get to cast all your cool spells for free basically. And I have to say, witness the future, like for 3 mana it's like meh, we don't play it. But man, 1 mana, super selection is basically 1 mana impulse that also shuffles all your invoke the spells into your library and you probably will draw one. Man, this is absolutely insane. And when you invoke the spare, you will draw something. It's either you invoke the spare or witness the future and you do it again. Like I actually chained quite a lot of those in a, in one go. So yeah, uh, all right. I should probably introduce the deck instead of being excited of, you know, chain casting invokes, but it's super fun. You will like it too. Uh, the deck is uh, without win cons because we have Jace that is a win con. And as the game goes longer, you choose the part of your deck that matters. So that's why we can play only like four counter spells, but in the right matchup, we can just have infinite counter spells. We have removal that we need and we just play invokes probably. Uh, when we are bored of like, you know, torturing our opponent, we just play Jace into Jace and mill 30 cards and that should do it <laughs> we have blue sun's twilight for you know some some interesting plays that we can make and of course the main strategy you probably know but let's let's actually call it and uh, you get discount on everything so every spell with x is extremely powerful and even things like path of parry you know how fun it looks when the cliff is actually cheaper on your mana than the non cleaved version because the other part for mana is colorless so we basically get all the stuff for free and two mana sweeper like a hard sweeper is actually really good and uh, infinite cargo and you know what i know it seems like a super small interaction when you see mind splice apparatus you always think all right i will draw 10 cards or something like this but the main thing for the deck is that when you play it at the end step of turn four you can play invoke despair into a counter spell and very you will see in the games this is why we have this Dainful Stroke, because it's a one mana hard counter spell against everything that matters. Uh, about the win rate, uh, I know you are interested, especially that it's the mirror, so you know, there is a problem with sweepers, Path of Peril, well, sometimes absolutely amazing, you will see it today, and I have to say that when I was playing with the mirror, like, Path of Peril really feels necessary. Like, without the sweeper, you just cannot keep up. There's always those weird tokens, like mites, whatever small creatures. Like, usually some kind of weird tokens that get buffed. You just need to get rid of them at some point during the game. And Path of Pearl saves so many games. The cliff is helpful, especially if you can get the discount. It's four mana, this can be five mana. So it can be a five mana on curve sweeper. It's not much worse than the populate. So, you know, we are going around the problem. And yeah, other than this, on the win rate, we finally hit 50%. It was hard. We were on the losing side. I felt like we really got a bad draw after a bad draw. And our opponent did not. Like, you know, uh, being on the draw against Talia into Rafin, into Airtai Resurrected, into Airtai Resurrected, I did not enjoy this game. <laughs> so yeah, but we went into 50% win rate. I'm happy with the results. I think that's really good for the mirror deck. It's it's hard to make a good one without the sweeper. And with that being said, don't forget to subscribe. I really hope that you enjoyed the channel and you know, like you are happy with the content every day. So that's one of the ways to tell me this. And I really appreciate everyone who subscribed so far. So let's go into the games. I hope you'll enjoy those and have fun. We're going first and the only question on my mind, like those two lands, they scare me. They scare me more than you think. We just need one land this game. Then we can play Jace. Oh no. It's, oh no, it will happen again! No, please magic, don't do me like this. 
No, please no. All right. Listen, you get a plane and I get my land, all right? It, it can be a random land, even tapped out, all right? I will even take take the top one. Uh, we, we, oh my God, thank you. Gods of magic. I want to officially thank you for your wisdom, generosity, and basically everything. Oh man, we can actually... It, it's not great that he has a 2-drop, because then we cannot minus this. I originally wanted to minus it, but it's I'm taking it so much, it's not even funny. And now we will be able to draw a card if... We, oh my god, we are, we are hitting land! I cannot believe this! Oh my god, best day of magic ever. We need to go from Mind Splash Apparatus at the end step. So, for this reason, I want to make sure that his thing won't feel very good. Man, if we hit Mind Splash Apparatus correctly, we can absolutely demolish this guy. But we need to get it. This is a tap land. This is a tap land, it's fine. This turn is the big one. If we get even one mana discount, that is so incredibly massive. Also, we play Invoke Despair on those four lands. Sure. Don't you worry, just draw your cards, it's fine. Nice. He doesn't know. He doesn't know what will happen. Uh, Invoke Despair doesn't super kill everything, but it should be good enough. And this is just the first step, you know? Finally. Oh, this one mana discount is everything. Alright, guys, so now we can actually make some work. I heard it's a good card. He cannot crew the Bane Buster as well. Uh, he lacks one power. So no, we only get one card, but we still trade for, you know, at least one and a half, let's say. One and a half is good enough. Do I want to mill him? Not really. Not really, not yet. This would set up the next Jace, though. But the Graveyard, I, I don't want to give him the Graveyard. Huh. I'm not sure. He can crew the Bangbuster. And he probably will. So I think we, we need to start drawing some extra cards to get advantage. We have the tempo. Now we only need one... Maybe one more turn should do it. Of course. Why wouldn't you have it? I mean, this is a bit awkward, but it is what it is. And you ask why? Because now he doesn't have 3 power to crew the Bangbuster and kill the Jace. If we answer to Loran's effect, then he can just crew. Man, Loran is suddenly played so much, but... I I've tried her and it didn't feel very well. Against soldiers, like, you know... You know what's up. Alright, so... Do I go with the Jace? I could kill Loran, then they get back what? The farmhand, right? But then I don't get Memory of the Rouge. I really think at this point I need to start Memory of the Rouge. -ing. Okay, one land for this turn. This is really... but this will be one turn too late, unfortunately. I have enough value, I think, but... Oh, I want all of those! I want all of those! I, I think it is a mistake, but I will still take it. Can I play a land? Oh, I, I kinda must. I thought that I played a land for this turn. So if I use the Jace plus one, then he calls it. Well, it is what it is, I guess. If I draw a card with... No, but then he doesn't even need to play and anything into the Bangbuster. Like, I, I don't think that's a super big deal and I will lose the Jace anyway. But this at least gives us the chance to keep the Jace. Yeah, and Laurent has minus one, so he needs something else to crew. Oh, draw? Draw? You can do it. If he messes this turn, of course. 
Oh my god, I have it? I thought I didn't have the mana. <laughs> Absolutely calculated. I, I was so good at just pretending that I don't know about it, that you even believe this one. Even I believed it. You know? But we, we knew all along. Oh my god. I, I I thought I don't have a counter spell for this turn and this would get me. So, oh wow, that was extremely lucky. I want to puff off Perry on the next turn. So it means that I actually need to go like this. By the way, he can crew right... No, no, no. Uh, the farm had uh, stopped. It will be... No. So we can only play one memory door. So instead... That's the play. That's the play. So he will make something incredibly strong. But so will we on the next turn. So this is a huge refuge turn. This is not the perfect land. We cannot cycle it. We cannot play it untapped. So the island is a, a bit better. All right. Yeah, I, I guess he can crew with the bank bus and farm hand. So maybe not the. But it means he doesn't draw with the bank buster, right? I could get the architect and copy it. That is a lot of power, and it forces some reaction because he's losing heart on the board. Not sure if that's the best play. All right, so I guess it's invoked in the end. I've made it just in time. All right, all right, guys. I, I think we still have very good plays on this one. Uh, he has insanely good creatures in the deck. If I play this into invoke, I have exactly the mana. So all of this is die. This is three mana. Oh, it's three mana. That is the best play. If I get this, it's not untapped as well. So that's also a little bit of problem. Uh, is there a value here? If I play this, it doesn't give me much. I'm not sure really what to do. These two cards. I have a lot of value. I just need to use it somehow. This kills only two creatures. I think we go. We need to go like this. I'm not extremely sure about this play. We can both draw a card. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> I want to show him that I actually drew it thanks to him. So guys, if you feel that, oh, we are just drawing cards, like, this can happen. Oh, I feel happier on the inside. I I'm, I'm a bad person. I mean, that's the third Eternal Wandering in three turns, right? All right, like, uh, we will still win this. Like, look at the very, we are not even close to being done. We are actually just getting started. You know, that's why we have Mind Splice apparatus in the deck, because we can use infinite mana. But it's fine. Because we have Invoke Disperse, and what's better in Magic than playing a lot of Invoke Disperse? Like, if he wants to go, oh, sure. You can draw. Enjoy, my friend. <laughs> I mean, I'll take it. How many cards? 12. 12, 12, 4. Do we really go for the dice here? How many did we have? One? Oh, only one. Yeah, we have so many win cons. I don't think we should super card. I could mill him more. But I could also mill him and draw some cards. Oh, that's a nice buff. And that's our key card after we already saw the game. <laughs> oh, the classic. You know what's funny? Eh? We play the same amount of Invoke Disperse and Apparatus Nary. I think actually exactly right in the... We play 3 and 3. This one never happens and this one always happens. So that's my... Uh, I'm just saying. Alright, so he's going for full Bangbuster, you know, spree. And I think this means we should kill him very quickly. That's fine. He doesn't have enchantment, guys. You know what it means. <laughs> it means that we get full Jace back with full loyalty. Oh, he won't be happy. Oh, this is so good. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, that, that, that felt very good. It is nice. That's how I. That's why I play Jace, my friend. So we will go with the apparatus into memorators and memorators. It helps, as you can see. Look how many turns we played. We still don't have mana to play this. Not even talking about the flashbacks. Like we have six cards right now in the hand that we don't see because we don't have the mana to use it. So no, uh, apparatus definitely helps. Cool. This will be double Bangbuster, by the way, which is <laughs> kind of hilarious in a way. But that's fine, because nothing happens on the next turn. He can kill us, though, if he draws correctly. Maybe we are supposed to go for Otawara? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. No, we can just do it on the next turn, right? He's as tapped out as possible, so we could play our our thing. It would be so hilarious to just try to steal his double might, but uh, we still need to, you know, kill everything. And this one is pretty cheap. Two black mana to absolutely clear the board. That definitely. Man, imagine we didn't have Path of Pain, <laughs> and because he attacked, he cannot make like token to to drive it next turn. Uh, he can use it on one of the bangbusters, but not for the other one. And believe me or not, white is not great at dealing direct damage. That's something they still need to patch in the gameplay. He has a lot of mana, so I'm taking the hit. We need to be very careful, but I think we will be able to go around it. We also have black marches, so you know, one of them, when he stepped out, is enough. I mean, bro, what's up with all those bangbusters? You have quite a lot. So let's go for the first one and see how it goes. <laughs> Alright, I dig that. Just a casual check. If you want to draw the card, you know, just be my guest. All right, we, we won, but that was actually close with all those Bane Busters. Uh, let's go for, I guess, one, two. We go for casual. No, only one? All right, so let's go for three. I thought I can cast it together with Memorators, but I miscounted the counters. Finally, our grind thingy. But man, for one mana, this is absolutely insane. So that was a game, you know? <laughs> I mean, uh, to be honest, white control has really bad matchup against us because we can just directly kill them, you know? Let's go for four, just to be sure. Maybe he has an instant reshuffle effect that doesn't exist in standard. It might be it. All right, that's, that's a deck. We are not doing, you know? Oh, that's cute. You know that we have to do it. Did he good game? I didn't see. I was too excited of syncopating. Alright, I wanted to good game, but I didn't want to risk, you know. He could feel bad after I good gamed and he didn't. Alright, we are going first with Jace and all the cards from the deck. Makes sense. At least we have three rounds, so we will be able to play Magic. Our opponent is not having perfect opening so far, which so that 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 surprises me. I'm not sure what's going on. And this is a one. Oh, that makes sense. Oh, exactly. Uh, see ya, Jace. I think we will have to silver scrutiny for one. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I, I, I know, knew something was wrong that our opponent is not having like crazy opening. It, it just doesn't happen. He needs to have something. Man, that was that was the only choice. And there's just nothing around it. Uh, I we have to go like this. We show him so he has full information on this one turn. And he knows that on the next turn we will cast Silver Scrutiny at the end step. So that's a bit rough. But you know, that's the upside of having duress in the control against control matchup. 
Like it's not so hot when you meet soldiers, but it uh, definitely shines in this kind of scenarios. Uh, we need a black land. Not anyone will do. We, we will definitely not play Silver Scooter on our turn. Uh, this will be rough because this will get countered. And there's not much we can do about it. Like, we need to play into it. I mean, alright. Uh, not the correct model. That went really quickly. So, in, we will go like this probably. See what happens. And get some value, I guess. I mean, the fact that he doesn't have an instant is actually pretty mind boggling. Boggling. <laughs> <Bobbling. laughs> so. Alright. I'm not sure what the deck is. He should be full on. Oh, this is some weird version. Don't, don't use this card, guys. It can look good, but it's not good. I remember when it was new, everyone was just asking for it over and over, but I didn't like the sorcerer speed, man. This is this is a lot. So given we can invoke, I mean we'll just keep playing invokes, right? That's the that's the whole idea for the game. All right, those are good cards. Let's go like this. Two cards. Path of Pearl is not good for the matchup. And probably one of the lands. Unless it's Blue Sun's Twilight. Is he playing any creatures? Probably not. Even if we will just win otherwise. And we have another one. So when he gets to a lot of... Alright, alright. So token probably I would guess. They always like the token. I think drawing cards is overall a bit better. Alright, so we will play the land. We will keep the furry, and we will keep the counter spell for whatever is next, and that should close the game. Usually, wow, my spice apparatus! After we are already closing the game, basically. Thank you, thank you. One of the three key cards for showing up finally. All right, all right. So let's see the play. I mean, having a counter spell is the huge deal. Right now, we can counter any serious spell. As you can see, and that should be the game. Thank you, Mind Splice Apparatus, <laughs> for being here. I extremely appreciate it. Uh, can I mill him? Yeah, I can. So it's tempting to go for the Apparatus, but it's not a good play, because we can draw way more cards this way. And still have the Jason board. Like, when you draw three cards with this, this is so brutal. And we also mill him uh, as the side note, you know? And on this turn, do we really go for it? Whatever. Like, if we are going crazy, we're going crazy. If he kills this one, we have the, another one, and he doesn't have mana to answer everything. He cannot answer Jace, Mind Splice Apparatus, and at the same time, like, play a threat. Unless, you know... The threat is a one drop or something like this, I guess. So we're milling. Man, the fact that he missed a count, but he doesn't play counter spells at all. That's why he's behind. What the? Hey, this art is actually pretty cool. I, I didn't know it would be cool. All right, all right. I get the point. So he drew a card, so he has eight again. Is he not playing lands in his deck? I don't know. There are, there are things that are happening and I don't know what to think about them. But I know I will draw a lot of cards and mill my opponent. Oh man, I actually feel bad at this point. <laughs> yeah, Invoke Despair is kinda pretty good card. Uh, he might have Farewell, so we are not playing another Mind Splice Apparatus. And we'll just discard whatever we need to discard. One, two, three. And go for the throat because he is not really playing creatures. And this is extremely powerful hand. So he's not playing counter spells and lands. I think. <laughs> oh man. That, that's a that's that's a very weird game so far. Alright. It will be the march, because I do not need the life gain. I know it's good with X, but we do not need it. 
Uh, what I need is another my spice apparatus because this guy doesn't play counter spells in blue. Like you don't play a lot, but you really play something. <laughs> All right, so how much we can do? Only three? That's not enough. I need more. Uh, I mean, this won't be a surprise. I heard uh, it's a good card. And yeah, Jace will also be in this glorious... <laughs> And Witness the Future actually feels pretty bad together with uh, Invoke the Spurs. You can just keep playing those and we will play another one. Can we dig another one? <laughs> oh my. Uh, I will get a counter spell and Witness the Future. And I mean Jace. What will. Oh my god, it's happening. But we do not have mana for it. So you see, we are not a bad person. We are not a bad person. It's it's way more fun to hit Invoke the Spurs than being hit by Invoke the Spurs, you know? That's that's my sloth wisdom. This is what I learned after playing games. I want to be on the giving end, not the receiving end. I, I feel there is a huge discrepancy between those sides. <laughs> quality commentary and quality... I mean, mind surprise game. Uh, I will discard the swamp. Crazy as it seems. But man, you really need to play at least some counter. I know, I play counterless decks, but you need to play at least two. At least two, you know, to justify the blue one. Is he playing blue cards? Is it just silver scooting and the fairy? It might be. All right, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm playing memory deluge because draw two for two seems pretty, oh my God, this is actually pretty good. I should play the upkeep stop, but it's fine because I have dice. Let's, let's just go with it. I mean, we can win with Invoke Despair or with dice. It should be dice. Oh man, I, I kind of feel bad for, for this. <laughs> oh man, that, that was a weird one. But I'll take it. It is going first because, you know, that's the rule. And we are trying to hit the mana for Path of Pride. We'll see how we go. Uh, definitely, th this is a funny card. Like, it can go super well if you hit right. And it just goes absolutely horrible if it's not right. And it's always on the play soldiers, you know. However, this is the most important draw of the whole game. I think with this one we actually ha have a chance because we will counter the tree drop and it means that whatever is on the board is dead. We will tap out and then he will replay something and we will Path of Peril again if he plays a lot of small creatures. Alright, so Resolut Reinforcements, right? I'm not sure if we counter it. Uh, probably not. No, no, no. Creep. I want to make sure that, you know, he doesn't realize that we absolutely have a counter spell because I want to counter the tree drop, which is the main scary thing actually. Go for it. Go for it, Siege Veteran. Oh my god. He's, he's definitely going a little bit aggro on this one. But it means that he won't play anything at the end step. Which means that Path of Pyre kinda is a sweeper, you know? I'm. Like, I respect this play, but I'm not sure if that wasn't way too fancy. Like, he really lost all the tempo with this one. That's an officer, sure. And that's a Jace. And Jace is the place. <laughs> that, that, that was... Man, Jace is the place? That sounds pretty cool. <laughs> I never heard it. Probably should. I'm sure someone thought of it, but you know, I, I, I will have my moment of happiness right now. So we will try to force him into whiteboard. We like counter spells are super hard to use if you are on the draw and you will be on the draw against Agro. Believe me that. So witness the future. Well, this card is amazing. With, by the way, we are actually an apparatus deck. I know you don't know it. I know it's hard to see, but we play three of those. Uh, but to be fair, like we still have time to draw it. It should be every like twenty cards. Yeah, sixty divided by three. That's a hard one. All right. So he wants to attack to make the token, but not much else. 
Alright, in next turn he will actually deal the damage. He cannot draw the card though, that's a big thing. So how do we do it? We have we have a lot of ways to do it. I play the land, right? Just to make sure, alright. So we keep up Syncopate with a Silver Scruton, of course. Do I want to mill him for the next race? Seems extremely tempting. Yeah, we will sweep on the next turn, which means that we want to maximize, like, you know, the pressure. He needs to play into the board, because otherwise Jason... Man, seven loyalty already. Fine. I don't think he will kill us this turn. The problem is that he will draw some cards, but, you know, it's normal for an aggro to outdraw control, you know? That's, that's a new standard. <laughs> they just do it all. Uh, he will do a lot of damage. I think he doesn't kill us, right? Six, nine. What a coincidence. All right, so how much damage this will be? He will also play the soldier, right? Oh my god, so much damage. I actually think I need to syncopate this. Just to stay alive. This is insane. Alright, so this will be 6 damage. 7. 10. 12. 13. What a coincidence. Oh my god, what a funny coincidence. This is exactly the perfect lethal. So he can still activate the Misha Spangler, which is not great for us as well. Misha's Foundry is a huge problem because we cannot use Jace to shut it down, basically. And because the Veteran is absolutely cool card, uh, after the Sweeper they still win. And this deck is absolutely ridiculous. So we have an aggro deck that has insane cardo and extremely resilient and extremely aggro-like. So, you know, I mean... Seems pretty good. <laughs> what we have to do in this uh, ridiculous situation, we need to puff off pair everything. Then they get a lot of tokens. And we need to probably use Jace to shut down a little bit. This is already, what, five damage on the board. So five, six, seven. What a coincidence. This is exactly leaf. <laughs> oh my God. This is not a laugh of joy. This is the laugh of pain and madness. <laughs> oh my god. You know what's the worst part? I've been playing with Soldier, like, I know how, how efficient it is. Like, I've been winning this kind of games as a Soldier deck like, a lot. It's just, like, what can you do? Like, the Misha Foundry even is just even worse. Can we mill them in one turn? No, because we cannot play Jace. Like, we can mill 24 cards, imagine, but that's not enough. It's an aggro deck. Yep, let's just... That makes perfect sense for me. Oh my god, let's go Path of Pearl into Path of Pearl, so we can at least die to Misha's fact the Foundry. Sorry, that's, that's a different card. That was a great game. I feel absolutely happy to play it, have, to have played this one. <laughs> All right, let's go another. All right, guys, going first with some Mind Splice apparatus action. Decent lands, so I think I will, I will take it. The stroke, definitely not your best early game card, uh, but we'll try to make it work. We'll try to make it work. Our early game definitely isn't like ex extremely like crazy uh, good looking. And I actually think we have enough black mana, so we will cycle Raffin. This is our three, turn 3 play. You know what? I do enjoy it. But let's not give him any information. He might choose the, the land differently. I don't know. Like, maybe he has two cards. One black, one green. And he's just like, oh my god, I need to play the wrong card. <laughs> That's my plan, alright? This is, this is my planning right there. All right, and the stroke is here. All right, this gave us super high information. He's not an uh, Invoke Despair player. Uh, because he would choose the Swamp. If he's choosing Forest, it means he doesn't play those. 
Like, I, th this is my opinion at least. Like, he should not be playing this kind of stuff. And this is the big thing of, in this deck. Look at this. We have actually an Invoke Despair into a hard counter spell for one mana. This is no joke, guys. Like, when you can ha have your best card in the deck played and still have the perfect defense against anything that is scary. Sure. I already... All right. I cannot counter the thing. Lidiana. Eh. I mean, she will die, right? I actually like the witness the futures we all have things we'd rather i mean uh this is this is not a bad hand not a bad card i think we go like this i want the land do i want the land right now no uh, i can go like this like th guys this is the ancient strategy of i cast invoke despair every single turn because i'm drawing two in top 16 cards which is not the normal case Right, we had to tap out, unfortunately, because he removed the apparatus. So this will be a Storm the Festival deck. All right, so this will definitely hurt a little bit. We can kill the Ren. Yeah, I mean we can kill the Ren. Oh, this ah, this is so lame. I think I know what I have to do. It will hurt. Really, Path of Peril? Oh no. We have enough cardo to make it work. Alright, so I need to pay 6 mana. And 2 of those mana will be this. Uh, you know, a perfect sweeper for the situation. And this is what we have to do. Very close. Uh, with Mind Splice Apparatus, we'll take over this game really quickly. But, yep. And that's why we did it. See ya. And now we need to hit some cardo. I mean, alright. <laughs> Wasn't extremely hard, I have to say. And that's like, this was so obvious. Why would you ever exile a card with exactly two mana with a blue one? Like, he played really into it. It fell into counter spell. It fell into make disappear. Stroke. Make this, like, negate. Everything counter with it. And it was obvious that we have it. I guess he... Oh, he will rope us in unranked. Oh my god. Is he really like playing into the most obvious counter spell in the world? And then roping in a fun mode? I mean... Thumps. I feel that we really need to talk seriously about what's going on on the other side of the match. <laughs> oh my god. This... All right, let's cut the video because it will be the full rope, I can feel. There's no explosion, but, you know, we'll make it work. Let's witness the future. I mean, we could shuffle his stuff, but I will shuffle my stuff. It's pretty cool. I mean, he didn't like this one, so let's shuffle this one as well. I mean, it doesn't seem bad for me. <laughs> Oh, I'm loving it way more than he does. Alright. I mean, we have a lot. This is how we recover. We only drew one card of all of those, but I mean, you can just keep playing Invoke the Spur for the full game. What's more fun than this? I guess roping in unranked. So let's cut again. Joke's on you, my friend, because you have become a living content for the channel. <laughs> <laughs> it's like transmogrify, just, uh, you know, in a different form. All right, let's go to the next one. Unless it was the last game, then thank you for watching.